First, they brought food for protesters on Kiev's Independence Square. Now they are helping the army. Volunteerism played a key role in Ukraine's Euromaidan revolution. Since the outbreak of the Kremlin-backed insurgency in East Ukraine, this mood of volunteerism has grown. There are now eight major volunteer centers across the country. This center is manned by 15 volunteers every day. They send out at least eight buses of aid every week to soldiers at the front. We know the needs of each individual military unit, whether they need body armor, helmets, night vision binoculars, food or medicine. We also know how to package and deliver what they need most. Ordinary Ukrainians have already donated over 30 million krivnas to this volunteer center alone. Members of the public also bring items to donate, including expensive medicines. We have already delivered body armor to over 1,000 soldiers. Volunteer dance offers aid to wounded soldiers recovering in hospital. She says she understands their needs better than many government employees. It's sometimes farcical when I find myself explaining to Ministry of Defense officials how to use NATO medical kits. Neurosurgeon Armen Nikoyasan is one of the most prominent volunteers in the conflict zone. He often treats wounded Ukrainian soldiers amid the heat of battle. Volunteers provided this medical treatment aid which our men will now take to the front lines in eastern Ukraine. Without volunteers, we would have surrendered long ago. By the time the government had finally got its act together, the enemy would have been at the gates of Kiev. Children like Vaselina and Mariana have also joined the volunteer effort and try to help out any way they can. I drew a picture to cheer up our soldiers. With the country in the grip of a patriotic surge, this mood of volunteerism is showing no signs of fading.